is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist and I'm going to show you how to do a Polaroid effect in Photoshop. So I'm going to take the photo that I want as my Polaroid and I'm going to crop it just a little bit so that we have, I'm just going to have it so it's just the sky and actually I'm going to make it a little smaller. All right. So with a Polaroid, you generally have that kind of vintage color scheme going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this layer. I'm gonna add a new layer. And all I did was copy and paste my photo. So now you've got this. But in order to make it look like Polaroid, we need to have that Polaroid frame. So the first thing I'm gonna do is fill the background with a color just so you don't get confused when you start drawing your Polaroid shape. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and select the rectangle tool. And I'm gonna draw a large rectangle around my photo, like so. And then you can adjust it any way you want. I'm pretty sure my photo is still too big, so I'm going to retransform it. And then put it there. All right, so here you've got your Polaroid. But like I said, what causes it to look Polaroid is the color scheme. So right now we're not really seeing that. So I'm going to go down into my layers, and here is an adjustment you can add, it's the adjustments that you can add, and go to selective color first. And so up will pop your colors, so go to neutrals, because this is gonna change the overall color scheme. Um, and this is where you can really start to get creative with it. And the thing about Polaroids is they have kind of like a yellowy reddish glow often. Um, so we're going to make it kind of like that. And so we've got that. And then you can also go back down to that op the, the options and you can select brightness slash contrast. And this will allow you to mess around with, I'm gonna turn the brightness back up. But we still don't really have that Polaroid look yet. So the final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add almost like a really light brown color. And I'm going to go and select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle of color over it. And then I'm going to mess with the layer options, the opacity options, which are which is right in your layers. And you can do all sorts of things with it. You can color burn, although that's not what we want. We want something more like... My name is Alex and this is how you do the Polaroid effect in Photoshop. Thank you.